Coming up on Torrance today, the first tropical storm to hit Southern California in 84 years passes through Torrance without too much damage, thanks to the city and its residents' vigilance. The fountain outside our city hall lights up as part of a nationwide effort to fight cancer, and the cultural exchange students from Kashiwa, Japan, visit City Cable to make some TV magic. All this and more coming up right now on Torrance Today. Welcome to Torrance Today. I'm Kirk Lines. It's 4 p.m. on Monday, August 21st. I hope you stayed safe and dry over the weekend. Thank you so much for joining us. Here's our first story. Hurricane Hillary, which downgraded to a tropical storm by the time it made landfall in Baja, California yesterday, made minimal damage here in Torrance thanks to a dual effort by both city workers and our residents. Public Works officials credit its sanitation division for regularly cleaning and maintaining the city's storm drains and catch basins, which allows for optimal storm water runoff. The city's community development, community services, and fire departments passed out more than 4,000 sandbags to residents at the city yard between Friday and Sunday. And staff members from the city's Office of Emergency Services and General Services provided food for the workers who were passing out the sandbags. The city spent the past few decades strengthening its infrastructure to reduce flood risks as well. We're grateful that these combined efforts helped us to avoid more serious outcomes. The historic storm did leave a few marks behind as it passed through. Southern California Edison is working on some power outages throughout the city. Here's a view of a residential area in North Torrance this morning. Some streets and walkways had water backed up a bit after the rainfall, as well as refuge and recycle bins that got knocked over by the winds. And city workers are assessing the damage to trees. So far, we have around 20 trees that lost their limbs. The National Weather Service canceled all weather watches and warnings, and the tropical storm is now referred to as post-tropical. The city recently unveiled a new warning system that helps our community to prepare for future emergencies. It's called Torrance Now Sirens, and it is part of the overall Torrance Community Warning System. Here's how it works. This is a test. Only a test. While this was only a test, this is what the Torrance community would hear as part of the neighborhood outdoor warning system if there were an emergency. Torrance Now includes eight sirens strategically placed throughout the city at all six fire stations, the Southeast Library, and at the corner of Lamita Boulevard and Madison Street. Torrance Nile sirens are just one of many distribution points we make available to the community for early warning notifications. They are part of the city's comprehensive system that includes the Beach Emergency Light System, also known as Beals, City Cable, City Sounds Radio, the Crenshaw Delamo Barrier System, the Emergency Alert System, Torrance Alerts, and the Torrance Refining Company Siren. The sirens are designed to warn with an audible siren and notification, prompting the community to a specific call to action. Funding for the sirens was provided by the South Coast Air Quality Management District as the result of a past fine against ExxonMobil. City officials plan to test the Torrance Now sirens twice a year. The test has concluded. The test has concluded. For more information, visit torrentsca.gov slash torrentsnow. The sirens got tested for the first time last month and will get tested again on Thursday, September 14th. A group of cancer survivors and their supporters lit up the night sky outside City Hall over the weekend as part of an annual vigil. They're simply a luminaria that uh, people buy for $10 each. The luminaria are made in honor of somebody who survived their battle with cancer or in memory of somebody who lost their battle. One of which is my mom, Mary King, who was fighting lung cancer, stage four lung cancer from 2019 to 2020. And she was a resident of Torrance, just like me. And I wanted to be a part of this, uh, dedicating one of these bags here that is gonna be lit up at the uh, night and it's gonna be dedicated to her and so many other survivors and also those that have passed away and in just memory for that. What we do as part of ACS CAN 
is we kind of work on developing a grassroots movement to work with legislation and insurance companies to work with um, either underfunded or underinsured cancer patients or communities that don't necessarily seek out cancer treatment or cancer testing so that we can get more cancer diagnosis and get cancer treated earlier and not have so much loss. Some of the luminaria from the Torrance Vigil will accompany legislative volunteers when they travel to Washington, D.C. in September. The bags will be part of the National Lights of Hope ceremony at the Lincoln Memorial. Nationwide, Lights of Hope has raised more than $500,000 toward this year's goal of $877,000. For more information, visit fightcancer.org. Cultural exchange students from Kashiwa, Japan, visited us here at City Cable last week and got their on-stream debuts. They, they thought they were coming in for a tour, but we put them to work on an upcoming episode of Weekends in Torrance. Three, two, one. Welcome to Weekend in Torrance. Hashiwa style. Perfect. See? <laughs> it was first time to do like report, like little TV show. So it was a little bit nervous, but it was fun. The studio is very big, but I've never seen like such a studio. So I was surprised that the studio is like that. Now that it's all done and over with, how do you think it went? Did you think it was good? Yeah, <laughs> good. Are you, are you, are you going to go home and show it to, to everybody? Yes, of course. <laughs> City Cable is putting the finishing touches on the students' episode of Weekends in Torrance. We'll be sure to keep you posted when it airs. An audition for aspiring singers in our area is just around the corner. <laughs> Los Cancioneros Master Chorale is looking for members to join the group in its upcoming season. The chorale dates back to 1949 and currently has more than 50 singers, performing locally and worldwide as opportunities arise. Auditions take place on Tuesday, August 29th at 7 p.m. at the Hope United Methodist Church located at 3405 Artesia Boulevard. For more information and to schedule an audition, send an email to ufon.un at gmail.com. And still ahead, it's Movie Monday, and the Torrance Summer Night series features a movie in the park starring a pair of famous twin brothers. We'll be back in 60 seconds. When it comes to making plans, you are the best. What about those barbecues you plan in detail for your family? Or your daughter's first costume party? It was out of this world. The same way you plan each detail for those moments, start planning to protect you and your loved ones from a natural disaster. Sign up for local weather and emergency alerts. Prepare an emergency kit and make a family communications plan. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make. At the end of every episode of Torrance Today, we want to share a positive story that fits the theme for the day. On this Movie Monday, the Torrance Summer Night series continues with another movie in the park. Tonight is about family, community, and bringing the community together. Tonight we will be watching Super Mario Brothers. It's movie number three, part of the Recreation Services Summer Movie Series. Uh, it's also part of the Torrance Summer Nights. We have local vendors from our Torrance Farmers Market and local vendors and sponsors here to bring this great presentation and uh, great family outing to you tonight. There are just two weekends left to experience a Torrance Summer Nights event. A screening of the sci-fi classic movie, Plan 9 from Outer Space, will take place on Saturday, August 26th. The movie will include live comedic riffing from sci-fi and monster expert Perry Shields. The Tom Petty tribute band Petty Theft concludes the summer series on Saturday, September 3rd. Both events will take place at the Wilson Park Amphitheater, located at 2200 Crenshaw Boulevard.
Well, that's our show for today. Let us know if you have a positive story to tell by emailing us at torrenstoday at torrentca.gov. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow with more news from and for our Torrance community. Have a good day.